Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back, me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. 
This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the scepter and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. Do you copy? I'm here. Are you in position? I'm heading towards the point of entry. Good. Get back to me when you're there. Use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the window's controls from here. The inauguration is taking place close by. Once you've infiltrated it, get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Understood. We need absolute focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. We are so close, 47. Don't worry. They're not going anywhere.
looking good, man. Looking good. Guard assigned a code name Pinky. I got word that he entered the building, but he hasn't reported for duty yet. Probably still down at the depot, getting his uniform. I just hope he's got his papers with him. I heard rumors that he used to work for that Dowood Rangan. You know, the Bollywood producer who died. Doesn't sound promising. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Stuyvesant is expecting a replacement guard. If you can locate him, we should be able to get within strangling distance of the little worm. I'm supposed to meet up for duty, but they can't find my uniform. That's not my problem. Come on, I need help. You look my size. If, if you're off duty, couldn't I just borrow your uniform? It's my first day and I really need this gig. Good for you. Congratulations. No, it's all screwed up. They can't find my uniform. I'm begging you, man to man. Sorry, still on duty. Oh, God. This is not my day. Oh, it's Mumbai all over again. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. Don't you worry. A colleague is also out there looking. Okay. But this is awful. I mean, I'm in my boxers and you are a woman. Hold on. Have I seen you before somewhere? That's enough. Okay, I'm done. Security will deal with you. Hey, nice costume. What are you playing at? But this is awful. I mean, I'm in my boxers and you are a woman. It's just so embarrassing. Oh, it's nothing I haven't seen before. But you don't understand. I'm military. We military men are used to punctuality. I, I was supposed to be ready and present my papers half an hour ago. Yes, you men in the army with your papers. Super punctual. I get it. Yes. Are you making fun of me? That's so cruel. Do you do you know what a man is without his gun? A <laughs> man in his boxes. Crying like a baby. Oh, you women will never understand. <laughs> and I don't think we ever will. Can't you just wear a waiter uniform? It would be pretty effective if you wanted to wear Boss? Seems pretty interesting. Reporting for duty. About time. Our client has been going out of his mind waiting for you. Do you have the papers? Yes. Good. I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. 
So, you don't call him anything. But officially, he's just known as codename Pinky. Sir, this is security. Just calling to let you know your new guard has finally arrived. Yes, sir. See you soon. Okay. Wait here. He'll be here shortly. Just a heads up. The package is a real ball breaker. He's been here countless times inquiring about where you were. So, don't be surprised if he's high maintenance. But I'm sure you're used to that. It's just a job. I know what you mean. Okay, you must be my new escort. Right there. That's Marcus Stuyvesant, Providence partner, self-entitled and arrogant little worm. He might not look like much, but he's done more damage to the world than you could dream. Hey, asshole! I would like to address the Providence partners directly. Okay, wait here. He'll be here shortly. So, how are you finding Dubai? Oh, it's a gold mine for people in our trade. If you threw a rock, you'd hit a rich man in need of a bodyguard. Oh, you're lucky. His Royal Highness pays better than most. Yep. Okay, you must be my new escort. I have very high standards. We can trust you will do your duty. You have your credentials on you? So tell me what your role was in this mess. This guy is unbelievable. Do you know this creep? Are you dead? You are giving me no choice, buddy. I will be forced to take action. Last chance. 47. I would like to address the Providence partners directly. Okay, wait here. He'll be here shortly. Mumbai. I heard that would be. See a man like you back in the saddle. Guess that's just our line of work. You can't keep everyone alive. I am sure I can handle it. Well, I guess that's one way of looking at it. Where the hell is he? You said he was here. You are wasting my time. Keeping the big man safe, huh? Yeah, nice gig. Okay. What the hell happened here? Are you involved, sir? What's this guy's problem? Is he your mate? That's enough!
Mister, you will get hurt! Trust me on that one! That was you, you mad I man. would like to address the Providence like partners directly. I want them to know what this is happening. And... Okay, wait here. He'll be here shortly. be my new escort. I have very high standards and trust you will do your duty. All right, where is he? I hope he's better than the last one. Okay, let's see here. Well, you have been around the world. Mumbai, Italy, France, Japan. This is a very impressive CV. I think you'll do. Come on. Let's walk. I need to tell you a bit about what I expect from you. Oh, crap! What the hell? Are you okay? It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. You hang in there. Hey, you all right? Victim didn't get a chance to ID the bastard. We're still in the blind, command. Are you in any way involved in this? I'm talking to you. Who is this guy anyway? Hey you, you know him. I'm talking to you, sir. Here. He'll be here shortly. be my new escort. I have very high standards and trust you will do your duty. All right, where is he? I hope he's better than the last Well, this all looks very promising. Yes, good. Oh, you worked for Darwood Rangan. Hope you weren't there on the day of his tragic death. Okay. This all looks very good. Okay, walk with me. I need to go through some ground rules. Christ! 47. Oh, I would oh, like to address the hurt? Providence partners directly. I want them to know why this is happening. And I have an idea, but it requires you finding a map terminal. Scheiße! You are. Oh, this is a bad omen. Help me! Nothing here, Command. Moving on. Get the package to safety. Go, go! 
go. Dig in. Cover all entries and exits. Roger that. Precaution. I've been personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zana Kazim. Sir, I understand. Zana Kazim, aka the Vulture. One of the top agents working for Cri But you can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is ridiculous. Well, that's how it is. Think about it and come back if you want. I'll be waiting upstairs in the reception. Understood? Crystal. Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly. Make them understand why all of this is happening. And that terminal gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our best shot. I need help. Hey, wake up! Oh, God! I knew I should have stayed home today! Shit! Everyone calm down! Yeah. 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 Come on, seven people up there. You should do something. Good job, thank you. Oh, my God! Thank God you're here! Oh. I need help! Stop! Oh, I'm coming yeah, for you! Give me what you got! Copy that! <laughs> Okay, wait here. He'll be here shortly. I thought you said my new god was here. Look, I don't have the time for that. I would like to address the Providence partners directly. I want them to know why this is happening. And I have an idea, but it requires you finding a map town. This is awful. I mean, I'm in my boxers and you are a woman. It's just so embarrassing. Oh, it's nothing I haven't seen before. But you don't understand. I'm military. We military men are used to punctuality. I, I was supposed to be ready and present my papers half an hour ago. Yes, you men in the army with your papers, super punctual. I get it. Yes. Are you making fun of me? That's so cruel. Do you? Do you know what a man is without his gun? <laughs> man in his boxes, crying like a baby. Ugh, you women will never understand. <laughs> and I don't think we ever will.
I can't find it. Can't you just wear a raven uniform? Reporting for duty. About time. Our client has been going out of his mind waiting for you. Do you have the papers? Yes. Good. I'll call him now. How should I address him? It's classified. So, you don't call him anything. But officially, he's just known as codename Pinky. Okay, you must be my new escort. I have very high standards and trust you will do your duty. You have your credentials on you? Mm, let me see here. Yes, that looks good. <laughs> I like it. A cutlery expert, no less. I have no idea what that means. But your CV is very impressive. This looks perfect. Come on, let's walk. I need to tell you a bit about what I expect from you. I expect you to be by my side 24-7, unless I say otherwise. Bathroom breaks are, of course, permitted, but only when I say so. I have a very important, delicate meeting today, in which I expect you to keep your ears closed 
but your eyes wide open. Understood? Now, your papers were indeed impressive, but I need to see what you can do with my own eyes. My father used to take me hunting. He was an avid hunter. I personally hated it, but always admired his skill with a knife, and grew to appreciate what it takes to gut an animal. Have you ever tried to gut an animal? Yes. Good. Then you know it's not so easy as it looks. Like trying to stab a rubber ball. It bounces back if you don't stab it correctly. We are almost here. You have to understand. I didn't get to where I am by blind faith. Okay, we are almost there. You see the shooting targets? Any fool can shoot a target. With a knife? That's where the talent lies. My father always used to say, if you are good with a knife, you are even better with a gun. I want to see your skills. I don't know why, but I've always trusted a man who would throw a knife. <laughs> I'm sure a psychiatrist would have a field day with that statement. So, show me what you got. Do well and you work for me. Fail, you get out of here. I never want to see your face again. Let's just hope he's half as good as you were. Only time will tell. But I doubt. You cocky idiot. Nice throw! Look at that! Not bad at all. That was quite spectacular. To do Thank with you all that power. Take the rest of the day off. You deserve it. Thank you, sir. It was an honor. Thank you, sir. You impressed me. You really did. But let's get to work. Some things you should know about me, and this is very much on a need-to-know basis. I am here incognito. So I want you to stay close, but not too close. Especially when we are out in public. If you see a man with a bodyguard, it draws attention. Understood? Yeah, of course you do. Come on, follow me. Please don't- oh. ah. You got him, 47. Marcus Stuyvesant won't be a problem anymore. Let's move on to Carl Ingram. When the- not done yet. Personally invited by the Royal Highness Omar Al Ghazali. I should have clearance. The name is Zaina Kazi. Sir, I understand. But you can't enter without being searched. It's standard procedure. This is Thank <laughs> you. 
entrance directly into my body. It's a smoking area. If you don't like it, piss off. Jesus, just ask me how we Hello. Yo, man. Sir, I'm sorry. This is a restricted area. Yeah, it feels good, huh? Yeah, I bet it does there, cue ball. All right, proceed. Oh, Mr. Kazim. I'm glad you changed your mind. Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Just keep calm. Please, go in and make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Thank you. Come in command! Hey, found someone. He's naked. No! Don't move. I'll be back with someone to help. Copy command. Oh, Mr. Kazim. Still looking. I'm glad you changed your no mind. Sign of the Arrogance can be a dangerous trait. Yes, indeed, it can. Mr. Ingram has been expecting you. We have a conference room set up for you. Area clear. Hello there, sir. Leading the next sector. Please stay back. Please, 
Go in and make yourself comfortable. Mr. Ingram will be with you shortly. Thank you. Mr. Kazim, a pleasure to meet you. Omar tells me great things about you. I'll get straight to the point. I have a, well, let's call it a dispute, which the Royal Highness tells me you're very capable of taking care of. Now, I've worked with your organization before, in Morocco, I believe, so I'm a little hesitant. Don't be. We do what's needed. Well, only time will tell. I have two assignments for you. Take care of the first one, and then we can discuss the bigger fish. Now, on to the first. An acute problem has been brought to my attention. Keep talking. I'll be candid with you. No one is supposed to know that I'm here. However, there's a journalist down at the inauguration, and he's asking rather intrusive questions about who's staying up here, and that is a very dangerous problem for me. Now, I want you to silence this little pain. You think you can do that? It's what I do best. I like your bluntness. This is his file. Hans looked. Pulitzer winning freelance journalist. He's good. And won't give up until he gets the answers he needs. And that can't happen. Consider it done. Good man. And remember, I want a picture. I want proof so I can sleep tonight. Of course. Once this little assignment is completed, come back and talk to Miss Toe. Then we can discuss the real cancer that needs to be removed. I'm sure you can see yourself out. That's Carl Ingram, Providence partner and brass balls billionaire. A legendary political fixer, Ingram is old money and as rotten as they come. to answer. I suggest you call HR. They should be able to answer any questions you have. Okay, thanks. Hello there. Mr. Lucht, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. 
But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. Good today, sir. Bad. Here we passed plenty of places where we could talk. If you need anything, I hope it's worth it. Let me know. Wait for me here. I'll be back as soon as possible. All right. Whatever it is, better be good. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel. I'm sorry, you're gonna have to leave. Third and That'll final! Get on your knees, Go buddy. back! If you don't want any trouble, Mr. I'll just leave, okay? Get him! Mr. Lund, I hear you're looking for information. Oh, really? Okay. You know what's happening upstairs? I know more than you could imagine. But we can't talk here. Follow me. Great. Lead the way. Swanky place, huh? Oh, yeah. I could get used to a gig like this. Beautiful. Getting a bad feeling here. Where are you taking? Wait for me here. I'll be back as soon as possible. All right. Yes, that's it. Now Ingram trusts you. It's like shooting fish in a barrel.
How are you today, sir? If you want to get through here, I'm gonna need to go through your pockets, my friend. You like that spy stuff, pal? Sure you do. Everybody loves that stuff. Right, that's it. Keep moving, please. Hello, sir. Mr. Kazim, welcome back. So, you have the picture? Yes, here. Good. Our guest will be delighted. Please follow me. He's waiting. Right this way, Mr. Kazim. Greetings, sir. So, do you like the building? This has been His Royal Highness's dream. I think for even longer than I have known him. Everything here is completely self-sufficient. Electricity, internet, even water is cleaned and reused. It's the first of its kind on this scale. It was important for him to look to the future. That's never gonna change. I mean, some countries go out of their way to fund the arts, and you get some really unique results. Look at Canada. A lot of weird stuff comes out of Canada. I hope you have had time to see the art exhibition. His Royal Highness has a keen eye for the arts. If you haven't yet, I highly recommend it. Mr. Ingram is expecting you. Mr. Cassie, so good to see you. Do you have the picture? Yes. Your problem is fixed. <laughs> Omar said you were good. Let's get down to the important business at hand. Okay, people, clear the room. I need to discuss some delicate business with Mr. Kazim. Perfect. We have Ingram have right where we want him. Excuse me for a second. 47, you know home. what to do. Have a drink, see the view. It's something to behold. Stay for the meeting. I assume that will not be a problem. Either way, you have no choice in the matter. I think I'll join you. Anyway, I was saying, it's interesting we haven't come across each other before, Mr. Kazim. Well, maybe not. Ugh. Ugh. I think I'm gonna be sick. Ah, oh, really? Huh? Local cuisine working out for you? Oh, you need to change your grollies after that. Have a lovely day.
We got him, 47. Soon there will be no more Providence. You need to find an exit. Our business is done here, but it's far from over. Hi there, friend. That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the Constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And... Well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look. You don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did... She'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough. 